Hi guys, this is Rishab Kapoor from websofttutorials.com. In this video guys, I will show you the correct way to collect the form data by using is set function. So firstly guys, we'll make form tags and I will give it a action of data.php file of data.php. So I'll write data.php. This is the file which is in the same folder. It's data.php. And I will use post method here. So I'll write post. So I will write first name, input type of text, and I will give it the name of first underscore name, and then I will again use br tag, and then I'll write last name, and then br tag, and input type of text and name last name and again I will use PR tag and now I'll write input type of I'll create a submit button and I will give it the value of submit now I will go to browser and refresh it you can see first name last name and submit now guys we are using post method so I will the action is data.php so we will go to data.php file firstly we will use the first way that how can means without using is set function so I'll write echo dollar underscore post the name of uh, first uh, first name is first name so I'll write first name we'll copy and paste it here and then again I will write dollar underscore post because we are using post method last name single quotes and then last name now I will go to browser and refresh oh sorry I will to Rishabh Kapoor and then I will click on submit button you will see Rishabh Kapoor it's working perfectly but guys suppose if I will directly open this data.php page you will see this error means without opening this page if I'll directly open data.php page it will return this error undefined index first name undefined index last name so in to solve this problem we will use is set function means firstly we will check the whether the values are set or not so for we will use is set function for uh, I have already told you about is set function that how can you use is set function in previous tutorial so now in this tutorial we are using it with uh, get and post method so I will use if is set brackets and in between brackets we will check these two variables so again I will write it if is set here are two variables which we are going to check so we will add make two brackets so firstly we will check dollar underscore post first name and dollar underscore post last name and I will write a bracket here means if it will check if both the variables are set only then this will return this now if we will refresh you will see that no, no error will be displayed now if we we'll again go to PHP file, I'll write Rishabh Kapoor. Now you can see it's displaying Rishabh Kapoor. If I will directly open data.php file, it will not show this error. You can see. Means both variables should be set in a, if you want to echo it out. So if I'll write just Rishabh here, nothing will be displayed. Means we have used AND condition here if you want you can also use or condition guys in the same way you can collect the form data on the same page as well we will just cut and paste it before doc type HTML and paste it here and I will remove data.php from the action now data will be collected on same page so I'll write Arisha. Kapoor you will see Rishabh Kapoor it is the data is collected on the same field so if I will not use this 
a set function you will see it will return this error undefined index so in that case we will use a set function and it will remove this error you can see Rishabh Kapoor so guys this is the best way using a set function with uh, form form data means if, if you want to collect the form data this is the best way to use by using uh, PHP is set function so guys if from the next video we will start working with the database so guys if you still have any question you can go to my description forum or you can leave a comment below so thanks for watching this video guys don't forget to subscribe my channel to get recent updates about my videos let's see in the next tutorial